Hi everybody, Dr. Phil here with PhysFarm. What I'm telling you about today uh, is a very cool new feature of the program. Uh, if you've been watching our videos, you know from a couple of months ago, we developed a way of measuring what's called the W prime or the anaerobic work capacity. And the way to think about that is just like this. Anytime you go above your threshold power or your critical power, what uh, ends up happening is that you deplete uh, a finite store of energy. Um, think of it like a battery. Okay. Um, anytime you go above your critical power, you discharge some of this battery, um, and the problem is that it recharges really slowly. And that's why you end up getting really tired when you do hard interval workouts. You run down the battery, you don't give yourself enough time to recharge, and eventually you get tired. So what's very cool is that race day allows you to enter theoretical interval workouts to see if you can finish them or not. Uh, so let me show you how we do that. Click on the Try Utils menu. And I'll just click on calculators and pick up the bike score manual entry, and that's great. So we can see for this particular athlete, um, they weigh 104 kilograms, and their critical power is just a rather pedestrian 200 watts. Um, so great news. So um, let's say they're going to do an interval workout where they hold 250 watts, and they do that for one minute and uh, zero seconds at a time. And let's give them uh, 20 watts recovery for 30 seconds at a time. And let's just say for giggles, they do four of those uh, repetitions. So we hit calculate, and then we click the graph button. And so, as we would expect, uh, we can see a nice square wave exercise here, uh, and that's what they're doing. Good. So, if we click the W prime balance button, that tells us how much charge is left in their battery, for instance. So remember, every time they go above critical power, which is about 200 watts, they start running down this battery. And then when they recover, they get a tiny bit of recharge. And then they start to run it down again, and a tiny bit of recharge, and so on. So what we can see here is the athlete can pretty comfortably finish this workout. Um, they do four intervals, and at the end, um, they've still got roughly 10,000 joules uh, of charge left. You can just think of that as... Uh, units of charge of this battery that you have. And they started out at about 17,000 or something like that. So the athlete can do this workout. Well, that's great. Um, why don't we try a different kind of workout? How about if we made them do the, uh, made them do those intervals for two minutes and we kept the interval, the recovery interval at 30 seconds? Uh, let's calculate that one and see what we get. Okay, let's look at the graph. Okay. What does the charge of the battery look like? Okay. Now we're getting into more significant trouble. You can say during each interval, we're running down the charge, only recharging a little bit, we're running down some more. Um, and we can see here that now we're down around 5,000. So if we started out about 17,000, we've considerably run down the charge uh, in this battery that you run down anytime you go above your threshold. Um, and we're in, change or, uh, in danger of, uh, of really getting tired and having to stop. Um, so let's go back again. Let's try a slightly different interval workout. Let's say, um, well, we're doing two minutes on. Why don't we see what happens if we do two minutes off? And so now we look at the graph. And um, so we see here again is the square wave exercise. But now we have equal work and restorations. What we see here is we don't get into quite as much trouble. We start to run it down, but we've had more time to recharge. Run it down, more time to recharge. And what you see here is that, again, we end up uh, having maybe 7,000 and change left in the tank. So this is maybe a little bit safer workout to try and do. Okay, so let's go back again. Um, now let's say, uh, okay, let's try only one minute of recovery. Um, and let's try going a little bit harder. Let's say we try to do uh, these intervals at 300 watts. What happens? Calculate. Okay. Get the graph. And what do we see happening here? Let's look at the battery charge. Uh-oh. You can see here we ran down below zero. So it's unlikely the athlete would be able to finish this workout. They do one, two uh, intervals, um, and they'd probably run dry at the end of the second. Um, or maybe they get through the second almost, uh, you know, just about without fatiguing, recharge a little bit, and they'll blow to pieces in the middle of the third interval. So um, this is a great new feature of Race Day. It can help you predict your workouts um, or predict whether you'll be able to finish your workouts or not. And now all of my athletes know one of my secrets, which is how do I know that I'm not going to blow them to smithereens anytime I give them an interval workout. So uh, have fun with the new feature, um, and feel free to always email me with any questions.